SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some Verizon 5G ultra wideband testing. I'm here in beautiful, wonderful North Olmsted, Ohio. You will see that the node is here, right on the corner of Lorraine Road, and I don't know the name of the street, I forget. Uh, but it's here at the Dunkin' Donuts. It's it's a pretty precarious location. Uh, it's, it's off the street just a little bit, kind of sort of on the corner. Here's a picture of the gear. It is Samsung as the vendor. And it's right here just like on the street pole and you'll see that there's the radio gear at the bottom all the control panels and power and that's pretty much it and it's it's just off the set of the sidewalk you'll see it's there uh, there's a storage facility across the street there's a toyota dealership uh, there's some residential located there homes there's some apartments i think there's a care center here's a, an ice cream shop there's a flower shop up the street the mall's actually on the other side behind there so that kind of gives you an idea of where we're testing. This is in the evening. It's about 6.30 p.m. We have uh, Verizon on the 20 or the 2005 uh, OG Unlimited plan with the ultra wideband add-on. 22 ping, 3 jitter. Okay. Uh, this is NSA, millimeter wave, 5G. All right, about 3 gigs on the down. And I think we're approaching about 100 megabits here on the up, about 90 to 100 megabits. Uh, interestingly enough, this is N260, 39 gigahertz, very high frequency. It's 800 megahertz of bandwidth. All right, so that is your first speed test running here through Ookla. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. And we're going to run the bitrate test here for the video option that's within the Ookla speed test app. And this will do like a couple of different bit rates. It'll, I think it does like 480p, 1080p, quad HD, and then 4K. And then it gives you an idea as to, you know, how well it's able to handle those different types of video resolution playback. And it shouldn't be an issue. This is a ton of speed and throughput, so it shouldn't have any problems with this. Uh, testing wise, uh, this is pretty typical for what I see. You will see it scores 4K, 2160, zero buffering, 870 milliseconds to test. Now we'll go ahead and do the fast.com test. This is a video playback test that runs through Netflix servers. For those of you that might want to use this and because this is ultra wideband it is not throttled in any way uh, but you will see it's limited by the servers it connects to so you'll see uh, we're only getting like 930 megabits per second on the downlink and then for the uplink and the latency latency is about 28 milliseconds so that jives pretty pretty similar to what we got from ukla and then the uplink you can see it's about 76 60 65 megabits per second you could see how depending on the tools and the apps you use to test on, it can vary, you know, a little bit here and there, give or take. All right, let's go ahead and run the nperf test. And what we want to do, and I made a huge mistake. I actually had music running in the background on YouTube, uh, YouTube music. So it kind of messed up the test at the end, and I'll show you guys what I mean. So we got 3.4 gigs per second on the max download, 2.8 gigs per second uh, on the average. And then max upload 80, average 57, and then the latency at 40 millisecond. All right, you will see it says NSA. That is a non-standalone 5G network connection. All right, so it's not standalone 5G. Here's your loading times for your web browsing. 85% Google, 89% Facebook, 82% Amazon, 68% Zoom, and 93% on the Wikipedia page. Now for the video stream analyzing. What it's going to do is it's going to run some YouTube videos and it's going to test it through three resolutions, 360p, 720p, and 1080p. Most of you are probably consuming your video at some form of 480p to 1080p. All right, so for the 360p test, 96%. For the 720p test, we're probably going to be just around there. All right, there it is, about 93, 94%. And then kind of like a good test for us is can it run 1080p? And it no doubt should be able to. And here it is at just over 92%. Now, because I was playing that video in the background or that music in the background, it messed up the test. I've kind of learned that the hard way. It's done it a couple times. Uh, but that's the testing. Why don't you guys tell me what you guys think of the results, right? Tell me about what you think about the placement. All right. Now, it is kind of directionally going like the opposite way. So it's not pointed directly at me. That may be why 
you know, I didn't get the best results. I mean, it was pretty good. You know, it's not direct line of sight, right? I'm, I'm kind of like off center just a little bit, but it seemed to perform pretty well. Uh, go ahead and comment down below your thoughts and your opinions on how you see the testing and how it did. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe for more and turn on the bell notifications icon so you never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Also, my Twitter handle is there. And all uh, business inquiries can be sent to the Gmail address down in the description box. And here's a follow-up test for you guys here. 26 ping, 3 jitter. We got about 3.3 gigs per second on the down. And we got a great uplink speed here. Very, very nice stuff. Over 100 megabits per second on the uplink. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.